I'm John Bradley and today I'm going to demonstrate how to download and install DB2000. I'm going to start by loading my browser and I use Mozilla. I have to move it into this window so that you can see it and then I'm going to in the location bar type in www accurecord.com slash usps slash outgoing slash downloads dot htm and then I hit enter and it brings up the download section let me move that into the window so you can see a little more in the very first table entry over on the right side, you'll see a link for download full distribution for all Windows systems. I'm going to right click on that, and it has an option in the menu, save link as. If you were using Internet Explorer, that might say save target as. So we're going to click on that. It opens up a dialog that allows me to determine where I want to save my uh, download. I'm going to take mine from local disk C and then downloads. That's where it's going to save it in. This is the name of the file that it's going to save in and I just click on save. It's telling me a copy already exists. Do I want to replace it? And yes I do. So I click on yes. It downloads it. And then I can close this. And I can close the browser. Now I need to find the file that I just downloaded and saved in downloads. So I'm going to start Windows Explorer. And a simple way to do that is to use the Windows key and the letter E, which opens it. Go to local disk C and scroll down for downloads. There's the file. Now I'm going to run it by double clicking on it. Click OK to begin the installation. Okay. Now the install program has found that I already have DB2000 installed and it's asking me do I want to remove the selected application and the answer is yes this will not affect any data merit marks databases that you have created it only uninstalls what has already been installed by the installation program previously now I click on finish and that has removed it from my system now I'm going to run it a second time to install it. Click on OK. Click on Next. And click on Install. I can click on Finish. The installation is done.